Hi, this is a tutorial about galleys. Galleys are the movement that goes like this. That one. They're most common, most commonly seen in field town, and they do occur in other traditions like Sherborne, Oddington, etc. This is going to concentrate on field town. It doesn't have any music going with it, but of course, as you start practicing it, you'll probably want to um, play some music off the internet. We can suggest some videos and, and so on and so forth with music at the right kind of speed. But this is really all about the various stages of a galley and how to attempt, at least, to do it properly. Now you can divide a galley up into three key phases, I guess. One of them is what comes before the galley. The second one is the galley itself. And a third one is how you launch off after the end of the galley into whatever else you're going to do. So let's have a look first at what comes before a galley. Now in field town, that's almost certainly going to be some bars of double stepping. And if we have a look at sort of a typical phrase, you would start off with back hop, back hop, feet together jump, one, two, three, hop, one, two, three, hop. And you would stop there. Well, you wouldn't actually stop there. I'm stopping there because I want you to see that I've got my right foot up in the air because that is going to be ready to start a galley right, where the right foot goes down. Conversely, you could just as easily, hopefully, do something which went off on the left foot. So you could go um, <coughs> back hop, back hop, feet together, jump, one, two, three, hop, one, two, three, hop. And there I am, left foot up in the air, ready to put it down, ready to galley. Now for the galley itself. Well, the galley consists, properly speaking, of the movements of the galley generally, almost always, followed by a feet together jump. Now the movements of the galley itself take four beats of music, divided up as a one, two, three, i.e. there's, a, there's a, a missing beat um, somewhere there in the middle. You'd follow that with bringing your feet together and doing a jump, and then that would finish off the whole of the galley movement and you'd be ready to start off on whatever else the dance called for. If we have a look at the galley part of this, before we have a look at the feet together jump of it, let's say you've just done double step, you've ended up with your right foot in the air. The first bit of the galley then involves you putting that right foot down quite hard and putting your weight on it. And that's the beat of one. You've then got that little pause in there, during which your leg comes out and up and ends up with your thigh, ideally vertical, horizontal I should say, angled out a little bit because you're going to do a movement like this and you don't want to be kicking yourself in the kneecap. So let's have a look at that. One. There. We'll do that again. One. There. That's followed by two hops, during which the foot that's up in the air, which remains as you'll see pretty heavily flexed, your foot that's up in the air should then describe two little circles. Quite difficult to do. You need to have your hands out in a balanced position, otherwise you really are almost certainly going to sort of topple sideways, look ungainly, etc. Let's put the first bit, beat one, the second bit, bringing your leg up, and the third bit, doing the wheels. Okay, so ready. One, two, three. Whoa. See what I mean about falling sideways. We'll do that again. One, two, three. Important, if you possibly can during this, is to keep that leg up there for both of those twists. Don't do this. Da, yeah. There's another move in Bleddington type dances called the hook leg, and that really looks very much more like a hook leg. You need to also be able to do the galley off the other foot. So in this case, it would be you put your left foot down, then in the pause, this one comes up, swings out, and then it describes two semicircles. And again, 
tries to stay with the thigh horizontal. So let's see that one. One, two, three. All the time, keeping your hands out if your life depends on it, because that's going to hopefully keep you upright. Hard enough if you do a galley just facing forwards. As we'll see in a moment, you also need to be able to turn doing a galley. And if you don't have yourself in balance there, you really will stagger. Okay, so that's the actual galley part of it. As I said a moment or two ago, you finish that off having done down, twist, twist, with the feet together jump. So let's say I've just done foot down, pause, twist, twist, feet together jump involved, foot down, flex knees, gather hands which are out here in a balance, up, and then bring the hands back down again. Let's have a look at that again. So foot comes down, flex knees, hands gather, up. And ideally those hands go up as high as you can, high enough and fast enough so that the hankies stand on end. And when you bring them back down, bring them back down the middle. It's not a movement like this. That belongs to another tradition. So let's put the whole of the galley and the feet together jump together. So it's going to be a right hand galley. Right. Pop, hop, feet, jump. Left hand one. Down. Hop, hop, feet, jump. And you'll notice that I've come down landing on both feet together. So this means that after I've completed this manoeuvre, <coughs> I'm free to do whatever comes next, starting either on this foot or on this foot. Now that does take a little bit of practice, being quite happily balanced so that you don't necessarily always go off on the right foot, you don't necessarily always go off on the left foot. With time, you should be able to do the whole of the movement off your right foot or off your left foot. Having said which, there are very few men who can galley equally well on the right foot and on the left foot. Almost all of us start staggering on one side or the other. Now let's put all of that together. Starting off with two bars of double step, galley, feet together jump, then, start, then going off on two bars of double step with a left foot start this time, and then a galley and a feet together jump. Two lots double step, two lots of galleys. A very common combination, particularly in foot up in field time. So let's give it a whirl. Now in practice, and it's certainly true in field town, rather than doing the galley facing forward the whole time, you would actually use the galley to turn. The structure of the galley is exactly the same. One, two, three, foot down, leg up, twist, twist, down, feet together, jump. But you use those movements to turn as well. Now let's say I want to turn through 180 degrees. What I would do then, let's say I'm going to turn 180 degrees left, I've done my double step so my foot's up in the air, 180 degrees is right behind me, so I put this foot down halfway round at 90 degrees. So in that pause, where my leg's coming up, I'm already facing that way. I would then use the two hops to finish the turn. Hop, hop. So by the time I've done the two twists, feet together, jump, etc., I'm facing the opposite direction. A little bit more radically, if you wanted to do a turn that was a complete 360 degrees, in other words, all the way around and back to face. Let's say we're going, we would do a right turn. Well, the principle is the same. 
you would put this foot down halfway round, which is <coughs> somewhere around there. You would then bring your foot up, and then you would use the two hops, hop, hop, and you're back facing forwards. Now that one is quite a question of balance sometimes, so it takes a little bit of practice. But the ones that you would come up with in field town, say let's say you were doing foot up, you'd be doing two bars of double step, you would then galley, and you would use the galley to turn from facing up the set towards the music to facing across. So let's say I'm dancing in number one position, what I would be doing would be as follows, right from the beginning. So I'd be going one, two, two. Gabby, hop, hop, face across. That would then enable me doing foot down to one, two, three, hop, one, two, three, hop, gabby, hop, hop, face across. So I'm now ready to do whatever comes next, half jib, whatever you have. 